Welcome back everyone. So today I want to talk to you one of the very important concepts that I come across with which is called micro content and I haven't do a very good job but I would start doing it. I have investigated how and how anyone can do it and I probably will show how to video at the end of the video. So you would so I would talk about what is it and why is that important and how can you do it. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Content is basically is a piece of content. It could be a, a picture, like text or video. Most of the time, it's a video. It's a very easy to consume kind of piece that you put out on social media, which, uh, which usually coming from your bigger piece. Your biggest piece probably maybe an hour or two kind of piece. And if in that hour or two, you may talk about different concepts or answer different questions, and you think one of those questions or one of those content is very good individual pieces that you can cut it out and make it an individual video and put it on social media the reason we want to do that it's just like the longer piece of content is a like gourmet food like it, when you go to consume gourmet food you need to dress up you have to go there you have to eat uh, you have to wait for it all those kind of things right you may go to a very fancy restaurant to eat a uh, macaroni and cheese but you can also buy craft dinner at the grocery store probably costs a dollar or two to buy craft dinner and you get ready for like a one or two of them right one or two minutes of uh, so you get a uh, like mac and cheese but the thing is like the purpose of that craft dinner and like the purpose of like a micro content have the same effect which is you put out the content to introduce the concept that you talk about and you would be able to like engage with the audience then when they like that piece of content they will look up more that is why that is very important that's i mean that's number one of the reason why micro content is very important two of the reason is that like when you cut down to a every i mean very very like single point when you put out the video like you can easily target someone like for example if you talk about like let's say like a pokemon card or pokemon if you are like different kind of pokemon like a pikachu barbasaur uh Charizard, all those kind of different animal um different like pokemon if you want to target someone that is like only interested in pikachu you want to cut that piece of content and like advertise to those people who love pikachu instead of like you want to show it them like pikachu people like the Barbasaur, like you don't want to mess it up and because of that you can make it more scale especially with like Facebook targeting you can target very 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 specific kind of like a uh, demographic so your content also need to be very specific when you do this you need to create kind of micro content or you you want to create a lot of different video to target different people which is like kind of pain in the butt but uh, the best way you can do is like uh, you do a really long show and cut the part that relevant to specific audience you wanted to show that to the audience that is number two reason why you want to have micro content and I'm going to I'm going to show it to you how I'm going to create micro content and which is I will show you how to do picture and second I will show you how to do video let's get right okay so here we come so we are in one of the software that I'm using so um, this is called canva.com you can see it here this is one of the popular website for most of the marketer to use to create their content for the simple idea and they have an upgrade version to get access to more picture and different like work and stuff like that we make it very simple we're just saying that like uh, using the basic version and most of the time that we use micro content which is often in uh, Instagram so we're gonna like make the picture here first so let's say Instagram and we want to have the blank and let's say I say one of the word which is like never give up um, because the like hope is going to be tomorrow or coming one of the catch phase or like or, or, or the video that I'm publishing today uh, which is like I'm saying that let's say um, creating more video would make would give you more 
content idea. That is what I have said in the other video. So that is the thing I can like stylize it by clicking different kind of work. Just push too small and this and you, we can pick different fun here and then we can add another subtitle here saying that uh, by Francis because like um, you know, Instagram people like about uh, entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is like if you see on other people making the same content like that's all about like giving a call and who said it and that that message right here that resonate with the people that you are sharing the message with that is one of the way to do it I would I would literally put out this one and and stuff like that or you can also use another format um, which is like people like to uh, capture the tweet and then they we post it on Instagram so I would say uh, creating more video is the best way to uh, maybe I would say like different wording get inside of your customer that is the thing I would put this and Francis you that is the thing so from your customer okay and I would do this this and then I was like uh, I'm using a Mac I was uh, use command ship and four to capture like part of this and I screenshot it and I delete this delete this and this Instagram post I could put it right here I can stylize it a bit and or I can just make it like this and you can add my, uh, your work into it. like essentially what you wanted to do is that you wanted to create enough to know that what different kind of content it will work on your customer because when you create more you know it, it working or it's not working so we are going into the part that I'm show you how to make video of the micro content I use Final Cut Pro if you guys don't know to edit my video but I think that if I know uh, Facebook actually offering the option I would not purchase this but anyway I have already purchased it before I noticed that so this is the video that I'm up I'm going to upload today so uh, let's say this is the point that I make on um, why creating content is a good idea I can cut it out trim it a, a, a blade I played it and then I listened to this I say this is the reason I think played it and then I would probably cut it like this and cut it like this right cut it all the irrelevant part out and I would do the size modify the size let's say it's a square video I would uh, I should say custom the square video let's say 180 times 180 that is like uh, the Instagram post and it would convert 180 to 180 now That's how I did my micro content for my photo. That is how I create my micro content. I know it's not perfect because it's like I just come across with this concept and I know like some of the bigger YouTuber or like some Instagram inf uh, influence I'm doing this and I share the so far that I know and I'll, I'm gonna uh, the way that I'm gonna do it maybe in later like when I like master the skill I will show you better way to do it and 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share with your fr friend and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys next time. Thank you.